Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. In the previous tutorial, we discussed about different ways to create arrays in Python using NumPy library. Today, in this tutorial, we'll discuss about the attributes of arrays. First, we'll discuss about the dimensions. So we can create n-dimensional arrays using NumPy libraries, right? What is n here? n is nothing but number of dimension, right? We can create one dimensional array, two dimensional array, three dimensional array like that. If I want to find out the dimension of array, then we can use this attributes. So that's nothing but if I want to know the dimension of given array, then I can use this ndim attribute. This ndim stands for number of dimension. Let's see how to use this attribute to find out the dimension of given array. So we'll take the example. I'll create an array called a. I'll use array function. So I'll create array from the list. If I want to know the dimension of this array, then I can use n ndim. If I enter now, it will give the dimension that is one. This is the one dimensional array. So if I take two dimensional array, b dot two dimensional array okay so b is the two dimensional array so in this way using this attribute we can find out the dimension of given array the next attribute is shape shape is nothing but it is the tuple of integers indicating the number of elements that are stored along each dimension of the array if the given array is one dimensional shape is nothing but the number of elements in that array if given array is two dimensional then it will give the number of rows and number of column as shape if it is three dimensional array it, it will give three numbers in the tuple so i'll show you the example here we can see a is an one dimensional array so if you want to check right one dimensional array if i want to find out the shape of this you can just mention a dot shape and we'll get five so it is nothing but there are five elements in this shape here we can see only one value that is nothing but it is one dimensional if we take two dimensional array we can create arrays in different ways right here I'll use array method. If I want to find out the shape now, so two and two, two rows and two column. If I check B, I can see that two rows and two column. If you want to see the three dimensional array, I'll take zeros. Okay, here we'll give the shape. How will you give? So we'll give the shape as two, three, four for the three dimensional. Okay, two, three, four. Okay, like this. So if you ask, what is the use of this shape attribute? Then here you can see when we are creating array using this array method. So if you want to know the dimension of that or shape of that, then you can use these attributes. So next attribute is size. The size will tell you the total number of elements of array. This is equal to the product of the elements of array shape for example if um, it is a two dimensional array it contains two rows and three column then total elements will be two into three that is six here we can see right so i'll show the example so if i take c dot size okay c is an uh, three dimensional array so if i check it will contain 24 elements it is the product of this shape 2 into 3 6 6 into 4 24 here 24 if i check b so it will give 4 okay so here we can see 1 2 3 4 total 4 elements 2 into 2 4 elements so size is nothing but total number of elements present in the array and the next attribute is d type okay data type so we are familiar with this attribute right we already use this as the parameter in many functions 
the functions which are used to create arrays so d type is nothing but data type describes the data type of the elements in the array as we know numpy arrays are homogeneous that is nothing but all the elements should be of same data type so if i want to find out the data type of that elements then we need to use this d type attribute if i take c dot d type we'll get float 64 it is the float type because as we know in the zeros function default data type is float that's why here we'll get float if i want to see the data type of b so it is int 32 now if you say float is okay then what is 64 int 32 what is these numbers then we'll discuss about data type in detail in the next tutorial there you'll get to know what is these numbers okay so if you want to find out the data type of the array you need to use this attribute so the last attribute is item size this will be the size in bytes of each element of array size attribute is nothing but it is the total number of element present in the array but item size is nothing but it is size of the item each item of the array okay in bytes so one byte is nothing but eight bits if the elements of uh, float 64 type then each element contains eight bytes so float 64 64 is nothing but bits okay 64 divided by 8 will get 8 okay so 8 bytes so that is nothing but each item will take 8 bytes here if i take um, c dot uh, item size it will be 8 because c data type is float 64 so each item take 8 bytes if i check b so it is 4 because int 32 the data type of b array is int 32 32 bits divided by 8 so we'll get 4 that is the 4 byte for each element so item size will tell you the size of the each element of the array so these are the few basic attributes of array we discussed about the dimension shape size d type and item size so in the next tutorial, we'll discuss about the data type in detail. So that's it for now guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you in next class. Till then, take care.